Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Art of Testing. I am Rohit Agrawal and today we will be discussing one of the most frequently asked questions in the world of software testing. That is difference between smoke testing and sanity testing. Now this question is interviewer's favorite if you are applying for a manual QA or a manual software testing profile and your experience ranges from 1 to 5 years. So now let's start and start with smoke testing. Now what is smoke testing? The concept, the concept of smoke testing is believed to be derived from the world of electrical engineering where whenever an electric circuit was developed, the first test that was done on that circuit was actually to connect it to a power source and see if there is any smoke coming out of it or not. If there is any smoke coming out from that electrical circuit, this means that there is something, some fault in that circuit. In the world of software testing, you can consider this, say for example, an e-commerce website. So what would be the e-commerce website test cases? So whenever I have an e-commerce website, the main, the main functionality or the business use case of that is that it should a uh, person should be able to purchase on that e-commerce website now the smoke testing for example here would be first check whether the url of the e-commerce website loads or not you are able to find a, s a product or not navigate to a product ensure that the product is there you are able to click on that product and then when the project product uh, uh, description page opens up then you are able to add that product to the cart and then you are able to complete that transaction to pay that uh, you are able to add that product to the cart you are able to make the payment and then the order is gets placed you get a confirmation whether that's uh, uh, on an email or sms that the uh, purchase has gone through and the order has been placed so this is the uh, smoke test that you would do on an e-commerce website now this smoke test has what is the purpose of the smoke test so a smoke test is done to see whether the detailed testing on that build can be further carried out by the QA team or not. Say my smoke test itself fails, then there is no point that I would take that product and accept that build as part of the testing cycle and do further testing on that product. So uh, the QA can directly say that the build is not robust and they will just decline the build. The build will go back to the developers, they will see and they will fix those problems. So smoke tests are done to see the product or the build whether it's eligible or a good candidate for further testing to be done further or not. Now every time say every time you get a build you do a set of this smoke test right and uh, uh, it, it certainly takes some amount of time. Now let's let's again take one more example. Uh, say you are uh, developing something or say you have written a test case about a feature itself right. Uh, there are some 20 test cases that you have written and you need to share the physical copy of those test cases with your peers and manager for the review. Now what you can do? You can suddenly go ahead and write down that many number of copies by yourself using a pen and a paper. It will take a good amount of time for you. The other thing that you can do is take a print out a carbon copy or a xerox of that thing. Now which approach do you think would be better for you? Definitely the second approach. Why? Because here, number one, you are able to save a lot of time. Second, we as human beings, uh, when we are asked to do the same kind of work time and again, we tend to make mistakes because the work uh, comes as a monotonous task for us. So the best approach would be always to take the Xerox of those test cases and share with your peers. The same thing holds true in the case of smoke test as well. This smoke test are needed to be done every time a build is given to the QA. So the best way to tackle these kind of tests is to automate them because that would save your time and you can invest the manual bandwidth in actually doing the real testing about further other products or builds that you might have with you. So, Smoke tests are always documented and they are automated. Now, smoke tests, you know that we, we, we check the 
end to end business case which is the primary business case of that product so smoke test is a wide approach okay now uh, let's move to sanity testing now what is sanity testing so sanity testing is definitely done once smoke testing is passed and you get a build to you now smoke testing no sorry beg your pardon sanity testing actually revolves around the feature that has been newly developed in the build or that has got fixed in the build so we do a detailed and thorough testing where the test scope is actually surrounded or around the new functionality or the bug fix that has come to you in that build so you always do a focused deep and narrow testing in case of sanity testing now these this feature is brand new right so you will not have it written or automated so sanity tests are not written documented or automated now when you are doing the sanity testing so you do the thorough testing of that build around that feature or functionality okay and then what you do is you then raise bugs and do other things right so it, it it's a detailed testing that you do which is again a functional testing so both smoke testing and sanity testing are basically the functional testing that you would do okay now that is what is the difference between the sanit smoke testing and sanity testing uh, let's take again in an e-commerce website so what could be sanity testing say i got a build and in that build i would have added a payment method and that payment method would be a new thing for me so my end to end testing or the complete testing scope would be to see whether i am able to place the order using that new payment gateway or not and then in that what kind of payment methods are supported debit card credit card upi wallets in wallets what how many kinds of wallets are supported so these are some examples of sanity testing that you would do for that payment gateway now let's recap the differences that we would have understood in this video so smoke test is shallow and wide approach of testing because here we overlook or we first do the basic testing of that product the business requirement what is the business requirement whether that product caters to that business requirement or not whereas sanity testing is narrow and deep approach of testing because you thoroughly test all the test cases or all the things features that has come in that build to you now the smoke testing is done to ensure that the build is in a good shape or a correct candidate for a testing team to accept it and do further testings on that build right whereas sanity testing is done to ensure that the fix to a component or the new feature the new functionality of that product is working fine or not we always automate and document the smoke tests this helps us save time and avoid manual errors that may happen when a person is doing same testing or the same steps of uh testing so because it becomes monotonous right in 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 uh and you would have as a person also realized that it becomes very monotonous when you have to set to do set same task again and again copy paste how many times you can do right so uh so remember that uh, sanity test sorry smoke tests are always documented and always automated whereas there is no point first of all doing the sanity testing automation because you never know whether the feature is stable or not and whether that would be part of the future product phase or not so to uh, save time and bandwidth what we do is uh, we generally do not document or automate the sanity test cases smoke test as you would have understood checks the overall component or the functionality of the system whereas sanity testing we check the specific functionality that would have been brought in in that build or that would have got fixed in that build right 
and uh, uh, smoke test what you can do is it's it's a basic health check right now uh, again uh, a basic health check you would have if you would have done a, uh, a few uh, say you would have gone for a, a medical checkup there would be always be a basic health uh, test and there would be detailed tests right so uh, basic tests are what they are just the overall the overall health of your but if you want to have a deep information about that you always do a sanity test right and so therefore uh, the sanity tests are like considered as the health check of the application under test i hope you would have understood the differences between smoke testing and sanity testing do let us know your feedback reviews or suggestions that may help us make our videos more useful to you please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates you can always visit our website artoftesting.com for more such articles and have a better understanding of end to end testing approach thank you